how can we expect ourselves to have lives of joy and freedom and spiritual clarity when we are sowing the seeds of the opposite of that? It's almost like some mad scientist, like Satan himself, <laughs> designed these systems that are being used now to raise animals. It's in, it, it is absolute insanity. I don't get how you can love everything Jesus says and then participate in a mechanized uh, system of mass slaughter that involves pain beyond your wildest imagination. Even keeping quiet and silent about the violence, you are part of that violence. There's another passage in the Quran that says that uh, because of the wrongs of humanity, there has been much corruption seen in the oceans and, and, and on land. So for a few moments in which we're enjoying what is really just a palate preference, we're taking what is most essential to animals, you know, their very lives. And uh, that's the opposite of compassion, it seems to me. We are ashamed of our ancestors who owned slaves. We are ashamed of our ancestors who believed in segregation so too, our grandchildren will be ashamed of what we allowed to happen on our watch. Each of us has to ask ourselves a spiritual question. What side do I want to tell my grandchildren I was on? Was I on the side of mercy and compassion? Or was I on the blind side that helped to perpetuate suffering? Mr. Light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine.